wish that I could swim and sleep like a shark does. I'd fall to the bottom and I'd hide till the end of time. In the sweet cool dark bed, asleep and constantly floating. All this, it does nothing. Literally nothing. I could have 12 and I'd feel nothing. Am I safe while you drive? Yeah. Well, what if you fall asleep? <laughs> Just don't get in the car with me for more than 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Spirit and Wolf is definitely a cat. It's like. I told me I had narcolepsy, and I said, what is that? Like, what the heck is that? And they were like, basically, you fall asleep a lot. And I was like, oh. But it's so much more than that. So much more than that. I, would get, I got sick with like a, just like a cold or something, and it kind of like flicked a switch in my brain, and triggered the gene. My brain kind of just decided to self-destroy all of the hypocretin and so narcolepsy causes excessive daytime sleepiness and that's caused by low levels or like low levels of hypocretin or just no hypocretin in your brain which is the thing that actually keeps you awake. I've had to adapt my lifestyle around narcolepsy like if I want to do something I've got to go home, take a half an hour nap, which makes me like to everything. Um, at night, I have a terrible quality of sleep. So when I wake up, I feel completely unrested and as a normal person would feel if they didn't sleep for 72 hours straight and then goes to work a working day. So it's just, you just feel exhausted all day. Um, I take a lot of medication, which I have a terrible memory, so I have to remember to take like 25 pills a day, all at different times. This one is amitriptyline. I take two of these before I go to bed and it attempts to regulate my rapid eye movement cycles and gives me a slightly more rested sleep than I would originally have. Also means that I really don't wake up to alarms though. Um, but I managed to wake up like seven times a night, just not till the alarm. And you have the main one, this bad boy, Modafinil. This one is a pain in the ass. I mean, it keeps me awake. Oh, you know, it does its best. But I also have to take all of these for the side effects of this one. Cyclazine, metoclopamide. Nausea pill on Dandetron, which is another nausea pill. Five of this one a day, like up to six of each one. Three of this one a day. In Lafax. Yep. I have conversations with people for like two hours and then I like wake up out of it and I've been having a conversation with this person for like two hours and I have no idea what I've said I have no idea what we've talked about like at all and that gets me into some pretty weird situations Technically, I'm like permanently jet lagged, so that's a pretty good aspect of it. This means I can travel wherever, and I'm just, I'm just the same. And I can fall asleep on planes. Like last week, I went to sleep in Auckland and woke up in LA, and it felt like it had been 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>